Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Psych OS. It is derived from Devoon, based on Debian, and it's built for older hardware. But before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, if you want to follow me on my socials, or better yet, become a patron on Patreon, those links are down below. Psych OS. I'm going to pull it up here real quick in the web browser and go to their website. But first, let's cover this. This comes with the Pale Moon web browser. As you can see, it's pretty lightweight. It's got DuckDuckGo as a default search engine. It's got a few add-ons added here. You can set your social links up if you want, your shopping links, email, media, travel. It's got it all right here on the main page of Pale Moon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go PsychOS. And there's their page. Tell me that doesn't look retro. The PsychOS project aims to provide multiple, unique, software-rich platforms for lighter and older hardware. So basically, I'm running this in a virtual box with a whopping 3 gigs of RAM, 2 CPUs, and it's pretty snappy, it's pretty quick, but we're going to go through it here in a second. But you can scroll down through here. It's a System D free GNU Linux operating system based on Devon, but tailored towards retro files of all ages. So it gives you kind of a retro feel. Now here's the deal. It's a 3.8 gigabyte ISO. It's got 3,000 installed packages, 90 plus Python modules, 390 plus supported file formats, customized Thunar file system, and DOS software included with RetroGrab to add more to the operating system. But you can scroll down through here. There is a lot to look at, and it, it looks like a really fun operating system. So I'm gonna close out of this, and we can kind of take in what we have here. When you download this and put it on a USB or throw it into a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. I do want to apologize right off the bat. I couldn't get it to go 1920 by 1080. I'm running 1680 by 1050. That's as big as it would go, so please, Forgive the black bars on the side. And you got this little note that pops up when you boot up, and it says, Before beginning, please take the time to read the documentation within Look Here directory. Just click the file cabinet looking icon on the panel, and then you'll see it. To remove this note permanently, right click the top bar and choose Delete. So you'd right click, Delete. Seeing how we're in a virtual box the next time you boot it up, or if you're on a USB the next time you boot it up, that note will pop back up. So let's go ahead and look at the Thunar file manager. There it is right there. Let's go ahead and maximize. And if you look right here, there's the look here. And it's got Pale Moon add-ons already here. Install and upgrade. Install DOS. Installed packages. Install PsychOS. PIP installed. Psycho release notes. So you got all that right inside the Thunar file manager the minute you start this system up. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. I'm going to right-click. Can we change the background? This is the background you get out of the box. Let's see what else you got. You got the Psycho Butterfly. You've got, that's pretty cool looking. So let's just pick, let's just pick something that's a little less in your face. There you go. Then you've got menus. You can adjust your menus over here and then you've got icons. You can change what you have on your home. You can add all of those if you want to. You can make those bigger, smaller. But I'm going to take them off. We don't need them, so we'll close that out. Back to right-click. You've got your open window, create launcher, open terminal, open root as Thunar, create symlink, properties, applications. We've already been to the file manager. You've got internet. You've got notes, volume, and then computer. And then let's open this up. So you've got favorites, recently used, all accessories. Accessories, you've got alarm clock, application finder, bulk rename, calculator, Compton, DOS Navigator, let's click on that. There's your DOS box. So if you've got specific DOS things you've downloaded, you can go in here and find it through the DOS box. That's pretty impressive. Just to let you all know, I had to take a little sidetrack there. For some reason, when I opened DOS box, the virtual machine lost capture to my mouse and I couldn't close it. So, sorry about that. We'll come back over, where were we? Accessories, we were at DOS box. Ebook speaker, font manager, image viewer, larger fonts, maps, menu editor, midnight commander, orange global time, Q joypad. If you've got games, you can program your controller. 
Sensor View, Command Line, Development, Education, Games, Commodore 64, DOS Box Emulator, Kega Fusion, Linux Wars, Mind Test, it's got Moopin 64 Emulator, PlayStation, Sony PlayStation 2 Emulator, PlayStation Emulator, Retro Arch, Stella, a multi platform Atari emulator, X Board, Z SNES, Super Nintendo emulator. It has a lot installed out of the box. Blender, Digicam, FreeCAD, GIMP, Inkscape, Image Magic, Krita. What I want to know is what kind of resources I'm using right now. So let's see if we can find that. I'm looking for Terminal. Let's find Terminal emulator. There it is. So does it have HTOP? Yes, it does have HTOP out of the box, so let's open that up. Out of the 3 gigabytes of RAM that's issued to this machine, it is resting at 467 megabytes and using less than 5% of the two CPUs I have issued to it. This is really important. I like this. You know, for somebody that grew up, my first computer was a Commodore 64, so somebody who grew up with the older computers, I like the feel of this. Let's go to settings. We got accessibility, appearance. What can you change on appearance? We're at XFCE Dusk. You can change style, icons, fonts, toolbar. Do you want them as icons or text? Text under icons, menu buttons. What I'm seeing from this, Psycho S is very lightweight. It comes with a lot of software installed from the beginning. I mean, the ISO is 3.8 gigabytes, but like they said on their website, You've got a lot of functionality out of the box. Let's say you do have an older machine. You put this operating system on it as opposed to something like Ubuntu or elementary. You've got to go download all these tools. And on an older machine, that's going to take time. With this, you just put in the USB, install it. You've got all kinds of games. You've got Office Suites. You've got Inkscape. You've got GIMP. It's got so many tools out of the box that you can use and make a lightweight machine functional again. So having said that, if you've got an older machine or you've got an older laptop laying around that you want to get back and be able to use, go over to psychoslinux.gitlab.io, find the ISO, download it, throw it on a USB or put it in a virtual machine, give it a test drive, you'll be impressed. You'll definitely want to take and put it on an older machine quickly. I'm actually going to put this on a 8-year-old HP laptop that I have, dual-core Intel with a whopping 8 gigabyte, no, 4 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to install that, and I'll do a follow-up to say how good it's working on it. Before you guys go today, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, or follow my channel. doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, if you want to follow me on social, or even better, become a patron to the channel, the link to my socials and Patreon is below. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.